Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, August 2nd, and guess what? It's hot. Temperatures upper 90s today. Some folks maybe in West Alabama hitting triple digits. I got to love that old first week in August. Let's check some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning at the uh, ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. That's the uh, Birmingham sky cam looking south from the Daniel Building. Go down to Auburn in Lee County. And way down south, that's the Alabama Gulf Coast as seen from the sky cam on top of the Phoenix Alt Suites. That's the view looking east back over toward the uh, public pier off in the distance. Yeah, buddy, that... Uh, Horrible heat ridge beginning to nose in here from the west. All the active convection up on top of the heat bubble across the high plains and the Great Lakes. And around here looks like we're going to be pretty hot and pretty dry for a couple of days. Goodness, those are highs yesterday. Looks like the heat peaked at uh, 109 over Oklahoma. The uh, worst of the heat over North Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. And it's just kind of creeping east. We saw highs mostly in the mid-90s around here yesterday. Watches this morning up north, and again, that's on top of the heat ridge. There's one of those boxes in effect until 10 o'clock this morning, central time for parts of Wisconsin, including Wausau and Eau Claire, for that uh, convective complex up there. That's where the risk of severe weather will be today around the Great Lakes, also the New England coast. And tomorrow, no formal risks around the nation. Here's the QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. And uh, the, the numbers are coming up a little bit. This is valid through Saturday evening at 7. And we do think beginning Thursday, we'll start to see a few scattered afternoon storms. Now, today and tomorrow look pretty dry. Now, there could be a shower out there, but don't count on it. Uh, but again, uh, by the end of the week and the weekend, we'll kind of go back to the uh, chance of afternoon storms and we'll Take anything we can get for a bit of cooling for sure. All right, the tropics, that's where the activity is here. Uh, Emily is the big story, the new tropical storm in the Caribbean. Uh, elsewhere, things are relatively quiet, a little bit of mischief around the intertropical convergence zone. Emily finally beginning to look a little better organized. This thing just had a hard time getting its act together. Uh, but uh, the convection seems to have increased overnight. Check the modeling on this thing. And let me tell you what, this is a tough little forecast we have here, uh, especially for our friends down in, in you know central and south Florida. Obviously, we, we don't think it's going to be a problem here. The uh, recurvature seems relatively likely, but where will it happen? Will it uh, recurve well off the South Atlantic coast coming up through the Bahamas, like some models suggest, like the GFDL? Or will it maybe skirt the eastern coast of Florida, uh, you know, Fort Lauderdale or uh, Cape Canaveral, something like that. It's just pretty early to make that call, but we're starting to see some of the better dynamic models shift a little to the right after shifting left yesterday. Uh, the intensity models, really, uh, many of them don't bring this up to a hurricane. Uh, they keep it as a tropical storm across the board for the next five days. Uh, you got a few that do, like the GFDL, bring it up to a Category 1. And here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. And uh, they, uh, of course, most models in this track, they've got it coming up over Hispaniola. And that clearly is going to be a problem for, uh, you know, intensification because of the terrain there. We all know that. Uh, they, they keep it a tropical storm across the board. They do not bring it up to a hurricane. They've got it to just after midnight Saturday night, a little east of Jacksonville. And again, you know, uh, I... It's just a hard call. I'll put it that way. I do think this will recurve. I do not think it's going to be a Gulf storm. No problem here for sure. I say for sure. It looks that way. But I think we'll know a lot more in the next 24 to 48 hours as we watch the organization of this thing. But, again, everybody clearly in the Bahamas and uh, uh, Miami and uh, Daytona Beach, Jacksonville, we'll need to keep an eye on this thing. Check the GFS. This is the OZ run at 7 o'clock this evening. Looks like the core of the heat is around Shreveport, Tulsa, Fort Smith. Down below that, uh, because of the warm air loft showers, that'll be hard to find. We're talking upper 90s. Both the uh, GFS and the NAM are coming in uh, there, and we'll go with that. 
Same thing tomorrow, and uh, both models, I should point out, are forecasting a high of 101. Uh, I think we're using 99, not that you can tell the difference. But there's still, you know, the grass is green, there's soil moisture, topsoil moisture, so uh, for a lot of folks, you won't see triple digits. But it is a little more limited over west and northwest Alabama. That's where we think we might see a, a 100 or a 101, especially around the Shoals, Hamilton, maybe Tuscaloosa, something like that. Thursday, evidence that we might see a few scattered storms returning as the heat bubble shifts back off to the west. And there's Friday, and I don't know, it's still pretty hot. That thing is kind of centered between uh, Abilene and uh, Meridian. But again, the model suggesting there could be some uh, scattered convection on Friday. Still pretty hot with uh, mid-90s. Saturday starting off the weekend, the moisture a bit deeper, so... We'll bring in the chance of uh, scattered showers and storms. In fact, the uh, GFS is ramping up the pops to uh, 56%. And the same thing on Sunday. So uh, I don't think this is going to be like June. We had like two weeks of upper 90s. Uh, this time it looks like we'll kind of have you know a series of days here with upper 90s. But by uh, Friday in the weekend, we go back down toward the mid-90s and we bring in those scattered showers and storms. Uh, next week on Monday, the heights are clearly coming down. Uh, highs drop back in the low 90s on modeling, and it's still uh, kind of soupy there, and the same thing on Tuesday. So again, the good news, this does not look like one of these you know, multiple week things in August that we can have, where you have upper 90s and triple digits. We don't think so. August 17th, still got the 588 ridge over us, nice trough back over the northwest, and again, that looks uh, relatively dry, should this be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news. In all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods. More people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.